Shuramimus is known from a single holotype fossil that is exceptionally well preserved, with full skeleton in complete articulation along with fine details of soft tissue. The fossil preserves filamentous plumage at the tail base and on other parts of the body. Cynocalyoteryx displays large 10 cm long protofeathers over its body, although these protofeathers probably first evolved for the purpose of insulation. Other Chinese dinosaurs from the Yixian formation display patterning to their feathers. Cynosauropteryx was also covered with a coat of very simple filament like feathers. Structures that indicate coloration have also been preserved in some of its feathers, which makes it the first non-avialian dinosaurs where coloration has been determined. Some contention has arisen with an alternative interpretation of the filamentous impression as remains of collagen fibers, but this has not been widely accepted. Because of its small size Comsignathus probably preyed on other small dinosaurs, insects and lizards. Although it is small, many paleontologists believe that this dinosaur was pretty fast. It was found in Europe, during Jurassic it was a dry, tropical archipelago at the edge of the Tethys Sea. Juravenator also lived in this area, it shows similarities with nocturnal birds strongly suggesting that it was most active at night. Contrary to its Comsignathids relatives, it was probably a scaly dinosaur, but it's possible that the juveniles were covered by protofeathers. Proceratosaurus was a small predatory theropod dinosaur active in what would become southern England. Proceratosaurus confirmed as a coelurosaurid, it was even identified as a tyrannosaurid, something that resulted in the creation of the Proceratosauridae. Guanlong is well known among paleontological circles as the first tyrannosaur, although new discoveries in the future may take this epithet away from Guanlong, its discovery lends support to the theory that the early origins of the tyrannosaurs can be traced back to Asia. One thing that it is arguably more famous for is its elaborate head crest, study of the crests has revealed that they were very fragile, confirming the notion that they were only for display. Eutyrannus are currently the largest known dinosaur specimens that preserve direct evidence of feathers. Based on the distribution of the feathers, they may have covered the whole body and served in regulating temperature, given the rather cold climate of the Yixian. The presence of feathers on a large basal tyrannosauroid suggests the possibility that later tyrannosaurids were also feathered, even when adult, despite their size. Brain case scans indicate that Dilong had an S-shaped brain protected by thin meninges, unlike Tyrannosaurus which has a more linear brain protected by thicker meninges, this is probably a size-related trait, as it is in crocodilians. The large flocculus of Dilong suggests it was agile and had good balance, while small olfactory tracts suggest that its sense of smell was not as refined as that of Tyrannosaurus. Eodiranus does show with clarity that the tyrannosaurs were not always huge and powerful carnivores, but had their origins in the realms of faster, lightweight hunters. The longer arms also appear to have still been an important part in prey capture. The only known raptoric specimen shows the same basic proportions as juvenile tyrannosaurids, a comparatively large and solidly constructed skull, long legs with adaptations for running, and tiny, two-fingered forelimbs. This is in contrast with more basal tyrannosauroids such as Dilong, which retained features characteristic of more basal coelurosaurs such as a small head and long, three-fingered forelimbs. Because of the scant material available, Electrosaurus is not very well known, it was a medium-sized, moderately built, ground-dwelling, bipedal carnivore. Aliaramus is characterized by a row of five bony crests along the top of the snout, a greater number of teeth than any other genus of tyrannosaurid, and a lower skull than most other tyrannosaurids. 
but their adult size is difficult to estimate since both the Leoramus species are known only from juvenile or sub-adult remains. The recent discovery of Chianjosaurus in 2014 indicates that it belongs to a distinct branch of Tyrannosaur. This last dinosaur is nicknamed Pinocchio rex for its long snout in comparison with other known Tyrannosaurs. Gorgosaurus lived in a lush floodplain environment along the edge of an inland sea. It was an apex predator, preying upon abundant ceratopsids and hadrosaurs. In some areas, it coexisted with another Tyrannosaurid, Displetosaurus. Although these animals were roughly the same size, there is some evidence of niche differentiation between the two. The discovery of 26 Albertosaurus specimens at one site provides evidence of pack behavior and allows studies of ontogeny and population biology, which are impossible with lesser-known dinosaurs. It was much smaller than its larger and more famous relative Tyrannosaurus, wide openings in the skull reduced the weight of the head while also providing space for muscle attachment and sensory organs. The higher and broader muzzles of Tyrannosaurines like Displetosaurus are mechanically stronger than the lower snouts of Albertosaurines like Gorgosaurus, although tooth strengths are similar between the two groups. This may indicate a difference in feeding mechanics or diet. Displetosaurus is a possible contender for social interaction leading to pack hunting. At least two skulls show tooth marks that were inflicted to the face, with one of the skulls belonging to a juvenile showing that the tooth marks had healed over, indicating that the bite was not intended to be fatal. The hollow type of Pteridophonius consists of a fragmentary skull and parts of the postcranial skeleton. The fossils were originally assigned to four different individuals, but are probably only of a single subadult animal, it was about 6 meters in length and 667 kilograms in weight. As the archetypal theropod, Tyrannosaurus has been one of the best known dinosaurs. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the strongest bite force among all terrestrial animals. Most paleontologists today accept that it was both an active predator and a scavenger. One of its features that everyone makes fun of is its tiny arms compared to the rest of its massive body. However, these arms were over one meter long and may have been capable of bench pressing 400 pounds each. It may live as long as 30 years. Tarbosaurus lived in a humid floodplain criss-crossed by river channels. In this environment, it was an apex predator, probably preying on other large dinosaurs like its American relatives. The auditory nerve was also large, suggesting good hearing, which may have been useful for auditory communication and spatial awareness. In contrast, the nerves and brain structures associated with eyesight were smaller and undeveloped. Many of the other dinosaurs in the region would have been smaller and often swifter than Tarbosaurus, meaning that it would have been restricted to the larger dinosaurs. It may have even used its sheer size and bulk to intimidate other smaller predators into giving up their kills, behavior that can be observed in carnivores that are still active predators today. <laughs>